Hello everyone. I'd like to talk about LU decomposition today, which is a factorization. From previously, we know that the factorization, which is six equal to two times three, right? So we called two times three, which is a factorization. So here we have A equal to, so basically we have a matrix A, then we are looking for their factorization, which is LU. This was this why with there is name about LU decomposition or factorization. All right. Okay, we have a matrix here, three by three. Now we want to make a zero there. How do we make a zero? So let us using negative 104. R1, row one plus R2 to make R2, right? So we have negative 32, 8, 56, and there is zero. Okay, let me write down for you. So this is negative one fourth, negative 32, and plus negative 24 which is zero, negative 104, eight plus negative eight equal to negative 10, right? So that's the will be, that will be negative 10, and then negative 104, and we have 56. So 56 plus 24 equal to 10. So we have 10. Okay, let me rewrite everything. Okay, now second one, we want to make a zero here. How? Uh, they, that's not the nice number, right? Then how do we do? Let me give you a tip. Think. We want to make a negative 32 and then we make a negative 24 to make a zero, right? Okay, we want to find the x. Then we have negative 32 equal to positive 24 with the x, and x equal to 24 over negative 32, right? Now we do simplify, so we get negative 3 over 4. All right, now we're going to do second one. Yeah, negative three over four. This is from there, right? And R1 plus R3 to make R3, right? Okay, we have a negative 32, 8, 56, 0, negative 10, positive 10. All right. Uh, let me write down for you. We have a negative 24, negative 34, 58. We multiply by negative three over four for R1, right? So let's do that. Negative three over four, negative 32. And the second one has eight, negative three over four. Third one is 56, and then negative 24, negative 34, 58. So negative 24, negative 34, and positive 58, right? Okay, so we have this one, zero. We have a second one equal to negative 40. We have a third one is 16. So we have a zero, negative 40, 16. Okay, now, we want to make a zero there, right? We want to make a zero. Okay, this will be the last one. How do we do? 
third one. Look, we have negative four times with the second row and add them to get zero, right? So we do that negative four R2 plus R3 to make R3. Okay, so negative 32, 8, 56, 0, negative 10, 10. Okay, let me write down this one for you. Oh, I don't have that. <laughs> Think, because it's easy, right? So we get negative 4 times negative 10, which is positive 40. Add to them, it's 0. <laughs> And negative 40 again, right? And plus 16, which is negative 24. <laughs> okay, so this will be you. You, I was using this color. Okay, L, how do we make L? Looking at the coefficient here. So, this one, this number, and this number, and this number, we are using opposite sign. Opposite sign. Or L, right? So we will get L equal to which is, uh, look, we are going to write down one zero zero and one zero and one here all the time. All right. Okay. How do you write? This is positive one over four. We are using positive three over four. We are using positive four there. So this will be one over four and three over four and positive four. Okay, so this is L and this is U. How do we check the answer? Check with the uh, decimals. Check the answer. Okay, I have here, uh, in decimals, we cannot use L, we cannot use U, so I was using C and D. So this is L, this is U, we multiply, then we get the, this one, which is A, right? Okay, thank you for watching, bye.